Now, a very useful thing in any programming language is something called a comment. And a comment is a line in your code that doesn't do anything. And to start with, that might sound like a bit of a strange thing. Why would I want a line in my program that uh, doesn't do anything? Uh, but what that means is it performs no function within the program when it's running, but it's very useful to the people for the people who that are um, reading or maintaining the program. So in Python, there are two ways to create a comment. Uh, the first is to use the the hash or the sharp symbol at the start of a line. So this is a comment, and in um, Replit comments are grey. In idle, for example, they're red, but they're lines that don't do anything. So if I um, I do print hello and just have another line in my program just so it looks like it's doing a bit more. So hello again. Um, so I should really use that comment to describe what my program does. Now this is a very simple program, so it's a little bit redundant. But most programs are developed, uh, certainly in the commercial kind of software uh, industry, are created and developed by more than one person. So there'll be a team of people working on programs. Uh, so it's therefore quite important to explain clearly how your program works and what all the variables do. And even if it's a fairly small program, something that you've made yourself, if you come back to it in a year or two's time, um, it's not always easy to remember exactly how it works. So comments are very useful for describing uh, what you've done. So the first way is to use the hash symbol. And that means basically anything after the hash on that line, um, Python doesn't run it. So the, even though my first program isn't a valid Python command, that per program will run uh, perfectly happily. The comment symbol can also be used to help you test your program. There's a technique called commenting out, which basically means turn the line of code into a comment so that it doesn't run. So for example, if I was having problems with my program and I suspected that it was on line three there, what I could do is I could, rather than deleting that line, I could just stick a hash symbol at the start. It would turn that line into a comment. It wouldn't run anymore. So I could say, oh, actually, yes, that's, uh, so line two's working. And what about if I try it the other way around? Let's comment out that line and see what happens there. Yeah, so line three's working. So, you know, so you can use that to try and work out what's going on with your program. So that's one uh, way of doing it, the hash symbol. There's another way. Uh, if you want a longer multi-line quote, it's to use triple quotes. So uh, one, two, three quotes. So that is a line of comment that spreads over more than one line. And if I run that, we can see it's not causing an error, even though this is a multi-line comment, obviously isn't a Python command, um, but it's, um, it's, it's, it's a comment that stretches over more than one line. That can be quite useful sometimes if you've got a, a program that's quite complex or you want a big introduction to it. Um, so for example, my um, number names program, I've got a little introduction at the start which sort of explains how it works and explains that it's a little bit more tricky. So that's comments. So a single line, hash, multiple lines, you can use the triple quotes. So you start with three quotes and end with three quotes. You can also use apostrophes as well if you want to.